I mean my guest tonight, is uh, without question, one of the, perhaps the most popular uh, actress in America. Say, I can't help noticing that the lights are all different. Yeah, look at that, I got a funny shadow on the side of my head. Well, I, I don't care. <laughs> we make it up as we go along. The thing about Lucy is that in this city, and I don't know about your own city, um, her television reruns of the original Lucy show are shown four times every day. Uh, and on Mondays, they're followed by her current television series, which, obviously, which makes five times in a single day that you can catch Lucy uh, if you happen to be here in New York. She's been in 76 motion pictures besides, and um, Roman Scandals was that one you saw a clip from. I got a couple questions to ask her about that, but she obviously is uh, one of, if not the most popular, uh, women in the world. And uh, in order to feed the insatiable appetite for Lucille Ball, here she is again tonight. Will you welcome, please, Lucille Ball. Now, I've got to ask you, when did you stop making these stag films like we showed there? <laughs> what about that? Well, I still have the G-string. <laughs> they took the wig back. Those were wigs. We can Those make. were wigs. And I don't know what number uh, I was. I just saw it back there. But I was there. Well, you, and you didn't know which one you were? Yeah, I knew, but I don't know what number it was. <clears throat> well, uh, let's, do, let's do something really Oh, ingenious. my God, you're not going to show it again. <laughs> <laughs> How can we deny the hungry audience this pleasure? Uh, I, I, I want to tell you not something. Not worth about. it. Well, let's just see who you are. And when you see yourself, stop. You just, just roll. It doesn't take stop a second. Stop what? See the whole thing. Just yell, stop, and we'll, we'll stop. Here it comes. And, uh, Where do I look? Here it is. I can't tell from here, I don't think. Is that you? No. That was my guess. Is that? No. no. Any of those? No. That is. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, it was the one ahead. Yeah. We missed it. It was number, uh, whatever that was. Three and a half. Yeah. There were two like this. I have to tell you something funny about that. I, I didn't realize till two days ago that you were in that film. Why should you? You were a baby if you were born. But I saw it in Nebraska. It was rerun, I guess. It came back years later. And... <laughs> That's the dirtiest look I ever got. And I thought it was about the most erotic thing I had ever seen. I had fantasies about it for weeks afterwards. <laughs> I really did. I was at an impressionable age. You're I was 34. For Eddie Cantor. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> did I hear my ear? I my, it could be. You, you, you say you're queer for Eddie Cantor? Was it that what you be. said? It could be. It could be. What a Miss Ball. No, I said it was a good year for Eddie Cantor. Oh, a good year? For... <laughs> it was. It was the side of you, I year. haven't yes, seen. Yes, I did three that... pictures with Eddie Cantor. That was an Eddie Cantor film, but mm. I, I really was. I was extremely turned on by that because those ladies looked absolutely naked. Were you? I had the G-string. Yeah. And the wig. Well, we were covered with the hair. That long, long, those long tresses. Yes, a man in the balcony, in fact, asked during the break, uh, apparently in a Busby Berkeley book, which is hard to say. It's hard to say. Busby Berkeley book. Yeah, Busby Berkeley book. <laughs> Uh, it, it said that you were all uh, naked in the making of that, and I, I thought it was funny because I know once you're on the show, you um, express very strong feelings about nudity in the movies. And, <clears throat> and that kind of thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> you still... Well, we weren't running around naked. When we were in the wigs, we were completely covered. They went down to here, and we were very careful, you know, with the robes and everything in between. Yeah. But we certainly gave the impression, didn't we? You did. And to a teenage boy in Nebraska, it was dynamite. Uh, <laughs> I, I gotta say. You know, you, you've hinted at things about yourself uh, to me in the past that I I've never I beg gotten... your pardon. I, I mean by that, uh, things that I really don't know about you in detail, like 
your interest in gambling, for example? <laughs> I didn't hint, but I told you I like to gamble. I'm not a, you know, I'm not anyone who's gotten into any trouble gambling, but I just got sick of being tooken, like in London and, and the places where it isn't as honest as, as it is in Las Vegas. They don't have to cheat in places in Las Vegas that I go. But they, but they did in London and uh, Puerto Rico and Havana and a lot of places that I gambled through the years and um, I just stopped it. I got sick of it. So I even stopped gambling in, in Vegas. Was it a, a problem? Were you a compulsive no, it wasn't, gambler? No, no. I just happened to like it. And then uh, when you can't afford to gamble, then the fun's gone, you know. And then you just kind of throw it away and you sit there and yeah. all of a sudden I thought, this is ridiculous. My money's got to be doing some good. That's interesting. You say when you can afford to gamble, the fun's gone. Is yeah. it? The, the fun is, is that you have Please. Which end is up. I washed those myself. I believe it. You're short-handed around here. <laughs> short-handed. Oh, I see. I don't think making fun of people's physical characteristics is a good kind of humor. If you had spat that water out, then I would, I wouldn't have, I would have been surprised. I adore you. You do? Besides, you're a little Dutch boy. Why do you call me a Dutch boy? You look like it. A what Dutch, are you? A Dutch boy? Yeah, what are you? Well, I'm uh, mostly uh, white and black and yellow and red. Like, you won't talk about anything about yourself, will you? Who said? <laughs> I said. Yes, I'll tell you. answer that. What are you? <laughs> what nationality are Say, you? Say, why are you turning the tables No, here? but why? I don't, I don't, I know not for what that. What nationality I, am I? Yeah, I just one of you English or My Scotch grandfather or uh, came from, uh, one of them came from England. Uh, the other one came from um, Wales. No, that's not too tough to answer, is it? My <laughs> You've become Don Rickles there tonight. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm Scottish, Irish, English, and uh, possibly uh, partly French and, and uh, a dose of German. Watch it. Uh, that's what we are, without the dose. Without <laughs> French, English. No <laughs> dose, eh? French, English, Scotch, Irish. Yankee, that's what. That's why I ask you. I thought yeah. so. You're New England. Well, yeah, we pioneered through Ohio into New York State. Covered wagon we, stuff. I didn't. Well, Don't look oh, at no. me like, you know. <laughs> My great-grandparents. Uh, were hardy pioneer stock. Yes, they were. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I, I read once about you, and it's this kind of thing that sounds like it might not be true, was that as a kid you pretended uh, that you came from Butte, Montana and were a tough it's Western true. girl. Well, not tough Western well, girl, but I had, yeah. I had read a lot of Zane Gray books. My, my uh, stepfather had a lot of, he, that was his favorite author, I guess, for Western mm. things. And, uh, it was a time of uh, William S. Hart, you know. Yeah. That's about all we saw were some pearl, pearl white. white cereals and William S. Hart and whatnot. And I read all the Zane Grey books many, many times, and my girlfriend and I used to play, um, you know, Madeline and Sassafrasa and ride around the house on broomsticks and whatnot and beg our families to get us a horse. And uh, what'd you ask me? I don't know, but I like that. <laughs> Yeah, I went, oh, you said so you when I went to New York, to be a... uh, I, as a child, yeah. just before my father died, when I was uh, three, uh, we had lived in Montana, uh -huh. uh, uh, Anaconda. And uh, as I grew up and I came to New York, you know, as, as people ask you where you're from, and Jamestown sounded so, blech, you know, yeah. and it was, so I made it up. And I said, uh, Butte, Montana. And then it, you know, kind of caught on. I was modeling, and somebody said, uh, Two Gun, you know, mm -hmm. from, and it was sort of a little nickname. So I wrote to the Chamber of Commerce, and I got all of the, the books that I could about Butte and Anaconda. And I got so that I knew more about those two towns than people that lived there. I knew the streets, I knew the stores, I knew the leading citizens, I knew where the banks were. And I could talk fluently about the two places, and I've never been there since I was three. It's amazing. We're, you weren't ashamed of your New England background in any way. No, it wasn't that. I, Jamestown was just so dull, you know. Now, of course, I'm in love with Jamestown. Jamestown what? New York. New York, yeah. And, the but nostalgia thing, you know. Yeah, it didn't seem glamorous. I, though, I always loved to go back there. Yeah. Have you been back uh, lately? Not for several years, no. Is there a plaque anywhere in no, Jamestown? No, there's a plot. 
to get you. They have a hell of a cemetery there. And the, what was your father? Man. No, no. He was a, no, you're doing he it. was a lineman. It would be Anaconda Copper uh, when he caught uh, typhoid, when he caught cold, got very ill and died of typhoid. An electrician, a lineman. Yeah. But it's cold there. Yeah. He was very, very ill. We got back as far as Wyandotte, Michigan, and he died. Does that, um, do you think about the fact that your father never saw your great success and... Uh, I never think about my that? father because I was much too young. Yeah. It was too bad that my father didn't see my brother. My mother was five months pregnant with my brother before he, when he died, you know. Uh -huh. and I, I'm sorry for my brother that he never had a father. We had a great grandfather, not a great grandfather. We had a marvelous grandfather. grandfather. And uh, he gave us a sensational childhood, so he made up for a lot of it. Yeah. Hold everything. We will be right back after this, this I wasn't message. I was not going anywhere. Don't go away. <laughs>